All right, this is wonderful. A stupid car pulled right out in front of me, as usual. Don't you be honking at me. Welcome back, everybody, to Farming Simulator 22. I'm an old guy gaming, and it is June the 1st. Our hay is now in the second uh, stage, and it's kind of more yellow looking. Um, so we are going to harvest that on all of our fields. And we're also going to harvest our barley on our new field 54. And then we're going to plow that field and enlarge it. So that's the plan coming up here. So I guess the first step to this is to hop in the combine and get that started. Looks like we could potentially use a little bit of fuel here. Uh, well, we, we should be okay. And combine's in good shape in terms of being in good repair. So let's go ahead and pull it on out of here. Looks like the lines are hooked up. All right. So we'll take this out to the field, get it started, and then uh, I'll probably hand it over to a worker while I come back here and get set up with uh, a trailer. Looking forward to this. Um, we, we need the, the feed for the chickens, of course. And... Um, I'm, I would imagine we're probably going to get enough feed off this field to last the rest of this year, and maybe even then some. We'll see. It's going to be a nice little bunch. I'm not really planning on selling any of it because, again, uh, it's going to be feed for our chickens. Unless we just have so much of it that it kind of makes sense to, but we don't really need to, I don't think, because you know we have our silage and our produce for selling. Right, so I think what we'll do here. Oh, we definitely want to make sure too that we are in straw swath. So that is comma there. Okay, uh, because we're, we're going to get straw out of this too. So I'm going to. Um, oh, careful! I don't want to drive over it. Dog on it. I'm going to go. Uh, do a headland. We'll go up and down once and do a headland before I turn it over to the worker. And here we go. It'll be nice to get some straw too, because that's just something else we can sell and eventually when we have cattle we're going to actually need the straw uh, in this game it's used both for total mix ration <coughs> excuse me and um, we also need it to bed the cows down in order for them to then produce manure for fertilizer so yeah thought about planting sorghum maybe next sorghum is worth more than barley or wheat and you can feed it to the chickens the downside though to the sorghum is you can't make straw out of it so if you factor the straw in um, you know it, it may not be actually worth more maybe even less I don't know just I guess it depends upon the price of the straw and everything so barley you know, uh, oats sells for more than I think all three of them, but you can't feed oats to chickens. So barley's probably what is going to make the most sense to replant because it, it's worth a little more than wheat. Okay, so that one pass got us up to 41%. We have quite a bit of room up here, so we, we probably only need to do one pass for the headland. But I might do two on the other end, just because it's so close to that other field. You can 
can see the barley in the back of the combine there. That's cool. That's some big barley, man. <laughs> they they exaggerate the size of the grain just so you can see it better. Oh, um, I actually have a small harvesting contract for barley too, and a small, a very small, like three hundred, three hundred dollar cultivating contract. Uh, so even get a little bit more barley, but we're not going to get a whole lot from that one because it is pretty small. I buggered up the corner of the field here, but oh well. All right, we are at 97%. So let's get it all the way filled up and then we'll go get our trailer. We'll be dumping it in the chicken silo and then we'll store the rest at the at the train station as usual. Uh, uh, doggone it. Smash some more crops. Okay. So here, let's pull this back out here. Get the pipe out. All right, and then I'm going to run and get our trailer. There it is. There's our barley. Okay, I'm just going to park the tractor right here. And like I mentioned, we'll do a, a double headland here and then we'll turn this over to the worker. And then we gotta get uh, geared up for getting our hay harvested. And we'll also need to get the combine over to the other barley field too. So plenty to do. We're gonna have, have to plow, stone, lime, fertilize, seed, roll. So yeah. We got our work cut out for us, man. It sure is fun. Have we seen this guy before? He doesn't look familiar. Huh. I've never noticed him before, anyway. Uh, all right, so let's hop out of here and... What are we going to do next? I guess we need to lease some equipment. Um, oh, speaking of equipment too, this is what's for sale, which nothing we need at this point. So we want to lease the Pottinger mower as usual. Still have yet to see this thing come, come up on sale. Okay, that's done. We want to lease the bale wrapper and the bale loader so this bale wrapper here and the expensive bale loader but man oh man does it make the work much better okay i think that's all we need to do for hay and um yeah there's the stuff there 
All right, I'm going to um, I think I'm gonna swap out tractors. We'll put the McCormick on the trailer, and I'm just gonna run and do that cultivating contract really quick and get it knocked out, and then we can get the new Holland started uh, with the the mowing. Finishes this cultivating contract, and we'll have to do field eight after we're done with our own field. Put some of this in the back to evenly distribute the load. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys. Um, I installed a mod that allows you to do straw on contract fields. Um, so when we do that field, that other barley field, um, we can actually We can actually uh, get the straw off of it now. Uh, well, assuming the mod works, it should, but we'll find out. Okay, we'll just stage the trailer right over here. And I'm going to get started uh, with the mowing. I'm probably not going to show any of the hay harvest this time. We've showed it pretty much just about every time. Uh, but I will show, you know, the, the field prep and maybe some of the, the straw baling since we, you know, don't do that very often. Uh, but, you know, the main hay harvest, I think I'm just going to get that banged out off camera. Okay, so uh, I'll see you guys uh, here in a little bit. All right, guys, our barley harvest on our own field is finished. And this trailer is giving the little McCormick a run for its money. It's pretty heavy. So we'll get the rest of this in here. We'll go drop off uh, or fill up the chicken coop. And then the rest will go into storage. And then we have to get the combine out to uh, up to the northwest. Uh, uh, for that small field up there that we're going to do. We're not going to get a lot of barley off that one, but we'll get a little more. Every little bit helps. All right, fantastic. So here, let's hop out of here for a second. And fold this up. Um, let's have a worker bring the trailer over to the yard. They won't, uh, they either won't or don't, at least don't do a very good job of transporting uh, or driving a combine when it's, um, uh, you know, got the header on it, so... Yeah, that's a that's a big heavy load for that little tractor. <laughs> um, is it possible for me to get to where we need to go without having to put this on the trailer? <clears throat> I'm just trying to think. We have to get up to field eight. 
I'll bet we could, actually. I think I'm going to try it. Hopefully I don't regret this. <laughs> okay, let's pull off here for a moment. <coughs> and get our chickens fed and get this grain dropped off. And then we can have a worker bring the trailer up to field eight. There you go, chickens. Okay. You know, I didn't even look to see how much we had in here before I dumped that. Uh, but chickens are now completely full, which is amazing. And we have 25, almost 26,000 liters left, which is a lot. Uh, in fact, if we look at the si silo again, okay, so that holds 9,000. So we have basically th over three. Well, hold on, 26. We have a, we have a little less than three. Um, full, more. You know, three more loads. Uh, for the chickens. So again, that should get us by for um, definitely for the rest of this year, and maybe even. Okay, I'm not gonna make that. Uh, maybe even a little bit into next year. All right, let's see if this dude or dudette, as the case may wind up being, and take this. I wonder if I could get them to deliver it to... Yeah, they need to go over here. Can you deliver animal dealer, fast food, sawmill, hydroponics? Hydroponics greenhouse large, that's my stuff. Looking for Grain West Silo. I think that's the one we want, right? Feeding Grain South. Wait a second. Johnson's Grain Mill. Yep, that's the one. <clears throat> okay. Uh, I I was kind of expecting it to be this one, but I guess that that's it's all the same facility. Before we commit to this, just in case something bad happens, let's make sure we save the game in case the AI screws something up and, I don't know, dumps all my grain on the train tracks or something. Okay, so um, we got you selected. All right, create job. We want you to deliver to Grain West Silo. Okay, and then when you're finished, I want you to come up to Field 8. And why don't you just stage right here? Actually, that's a fairly sizable field. We'll get some barley out of that, too. Okay, let's start the job. See if they can do all this. That's that's asking a lot of these guys. But maybe they can pull it off. Okay. On up to field eight. It's gonna take me about ten years to get there in this thing, but we'll get there. I don't think we'll have any major obstructions because it's gonna mostly be the highway. Uh, and then open field all the way there. So I think we'll be fine. <laughs> Whoops, I thought that car would get by me first. All right. Well, we, we might be doing the obstructing. Well, no, there's no might about it. <laughs> hey, where are you going? Oh, yeah, you're, you're going the right way. All right, this is wonderful. A stupid car pulled right out in front of me, as usual. Don't you be honking at me. 
Uh, uh, okay. Well, this is one of those super strength moments. Don't don't get the combine caught up in the power lines. That would not be good. All right, moving right along. That never actually happened, by the way. You guys just think it did. Don't it uh, uh, it it scrape. <laughs> Oh boy. The things I get myself into. Okay, we are at the field. Let's check on our worker here. They are... Going, oh, did they already drop the grain off? Yeah, because they're coming towards me. Um, We can tell if we look here and we look at barley. Yep, look at that. We have 20, 25,960 liters in storage. Fantastic. All right. Um, right. I'm going to do the headland and then turn this over also to a worker. So we'll just go right on up this way to start with. And we should be able to add a little bit more barley to our current supply when this is all said and done. Let's make a little extra money on the side. Oh, and, um, and bail. I got to remember not to turn this quest in before I come out here and bail this, though. I hope I don't forget, because I'm not used to doing that. Yeah, I don't know if anybody's ever done a comparison um, with selling, doing sorghum and selling it because you get a better price for it versus doing barley um, at the lower price, but also getting the straw for it, too. So... Be curious to know uh, what the deal is with that. Here comes the worker, and we are at 50% exactly. So we'll probably be able to get all the way around, I'm assuming, with one load here in the combine. Okay, that's just about full. And we are finished with you. Thank you, sir, for your service. Now get the heck out of here. Actually, that worker did a very good job with considering the complexity of what we asked him to do. That's why I thanked him for his service. You guys were telling me there there's a match speed mod which allows you to just basically follow along with the combine and have it uh, uh, you know just constantly dumping the grain in something I might try at some point I don't have it installed right now though but since I have other task going on too it um, it works better for me just to come back out here when they're full all right I think they'll be okay um, yeah they should be fine let's cut the power on the, the tractor and get back to mowing All right, guys, we are just about finished with this field. There's just a tiny little patch over there uh, to get, but the combine was full. So we'll offload that, go nab the grain, and then I'm going to send this trailer to the cell point, and I'll drive the combine back. I'm very low on fuel, so 
hopefully we can make it back okay. And we're going to go straight to the gas station. I did install a mod. I haven't done anything with it, but it's a, it's a mobile fueling and repairing station. So I guess if you get stuck out in a field and you run out of fuel, uh, you can use that. But like I said, I haven't actually tried it. But I'd rather uh, not have to if we don't have to. Not have to if we don't have to. Okay. So um, we're not turning this contract in until we get out here and get the straw baled and picked up. Um, which actually means we, sh we don't want to actually drop off the grain yet either. Uh, yeah, I have to think this through, so... Let's see here. We could have... We could have the worker drive up to the cell point, but just park there. And not... Not dump it yet. So, let's, uh... Get into here. Where is the cell point, by the way? It is Johnson's. Okay. So let's go ahead and have you just go to. I don't want you to deliver because they'll give all of the grain. And why don't you just pull in here? And stage there. Good. Okay, I'm going to drive this back. And then... Um, I'm just about finished mowing. And then we'll, we'll, bring the, we'll bring the stuff out here to get the... Uh, bail the straw and get the straw picked up first before we do anything else. So we can get this contract turned in. So I think that's the plan. That's the plan, Stan. Okay, we made it to the gas station. We have to kind of maneuver in here. There we go. And, oh, the fuel tank's right there, but it's not giving me the option to fill. Do I have to be closer? Is it because I got the header on? Oh, it does seem to be on this side. Well, why in the world wasn't it working over there? I don't know. I have to stand here in position to keep it fueling. It's because I'm basically it's as if I was doing it. That's what the, this mod does. Just a touch of realism. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay, let's kind of think about this for a second. Um, I think we want to. Yeah, we're gonna. Oh wow, that is heavy. We're gonna want the McCormick. Probably to run the Harrow bed. So let's just drop this off here. And we'll come back after we get the straw off the contract field. Um, actually, here I'll have a worker bring the McCormick back while we get started on the bailing. Great job. Go to. Uh, just come and stage right here. Should be good. Okay, let's get this finished. We just have this one strip left and we are done. With the mowing, that is. I 
thought about plowing this road up and making this one field. The main reason I would do that is because it confuses the AI. Um, and because this is a grass field, we can easily drive across it. We're not going to ruin anything. That could be a problem in the future if I ever decided to plant something else on here, but for now, it's not a big deal. Okay, mowing is finished. Our barley field can wait for now. We, we want to get the contract field taken care of first. cleaned up this things get this thing gets really dirty with the dirt mud and it's green dirt because it's from the grass which is really cool very realistic uh 10 percent damage yeah it's good we don't need to repair it right now Also, we can get rid of the mower. Don't need it for anything, do I? I can't think of it. Okay, McCormick's back. Let's have it hook up to what are you doing dummy get out of there I have it hook up to the pickup and then drive back out to field eight we're not doing silage out there of course we're just doing straw bales Here we go. Looks like the uh, baling straw from Contracts Mod is working just fine. I like it. And we haven't baled straw since we had our oat field. And those were uh, round bales too. First time we've ever did, done square straw bales. Looking good. All right, we're just about finished here. the last windrow and then I just have a couple of spots to clean up all right I think I'm gonna just leave the bale uh, in the baler and send um, this to our barley field and just keep going on the straw after we wrap up the contract so let's get past this guy let it do its save and then create job go to go to field 54 and just kind of stage yourself right there oh all right. Well, I guess he's going to poop out the bale. That's 
Not what I told you to do, but okay. Whatever. We'll pick it up. Okay. Now, let's grab our bales and see how many we get. How did that get to be a different sized bale? Oh, I know why. Cause, cause that's the size of the bale that had first, uh, that was originally in the baler. All right, we'll have to manually load that one then. Yeah, whatever it had in it previously, it sticks with that size until it starts a new one, which of course makes sense. Even though it's a bit of a pain in the neck. Okay, we're going to have to super strength this one on. We don't really have much other choice. Hopefully it stays there. I don't think there, there aren't any straps on this trailer, huh? As long as we don't take any real fast corners, I think it'll be okay. Hey, that wasn't a fast corner. The heck, man. Okay, I might have to go just a little slower. Uh, the other worker is there, so um, actually, I need to go to the other worker for a second, and I'm going to send the New Holland back out to Johnson's to grab the tray. Dump, dump off the grain and grab the trailer. Good. All right, now we just have to baby this back to the farm. Yeah, see, it's all glitchy there. <laughs> Come on, man. We're on a nice, smooth, level road. There's no reason for that. Seriously? Alright, what if we put it on top of the stack? Uh, <laughs> I don't know, it's it's uh it doesn't like it. It plum does not like it. Alright, I'll tell you what then. Oh, oh, we're just going to take it right here to the animal dealer and sell it. Don't want to mess with it. Not worth the hassle. Whoops. I don't even know if the, these guys are giving the best price, but... Too much messing around, man. Yeah, we got 318 bucks for it. Heavy. Okay, we want to stop it as soon as it says the quest is done. How much did we end up? 909 liters. 1%. Screw it. That isn't worth that isn't worth it. Okay. Okay, well. That's alright. We made a little bit of cash off of that and
and we now can turn the quest in for another $2,761. And just out of curiosity, will that field now come up for cultivation? No, it might later though. But remember, we also got almost a full load of straw off that field too, so that's that's worth something for sure. Had it not been for the straw, that almost may not have been worth the the trouble. But since we got the straw too, I'm I'm okay with it. All right, guys, we are back at our field here. And so I'm going to bale up this straw, and then I'm going to finish my hay harvest. And then after that, we will get started on expanding our new field. But unfortunately, we are out of time. So I'm going to do all that stuff off camera. Um, well, no, not all of that stuff. I'm going to do the straw and my, and my hay harvest off camera. And then when we're ready to start expanding the field, I'll bring you back... Uh, in the next episode uh, for the start of that. That is the plan. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share out the video. Excuse me. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.